tonight. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. Take it in at the three. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So here are the Cowboys now, ready to go on offense for the first time. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6'4". And last week's loss came despite a clean game on his end, throwing the ball with two touchdowns and zero interceptions. His job this week is simple. Do it again. Continue to avoid turnovers and hope that what sunk them last week resolves itself this time around. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And the stiff arm proved fruitful for a second, but the daylight quickly snuffed out. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Quickly here, and that's complete. On the move past the 40. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Shakes off the but he can't get away forever, and down he goes. The multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because it went right back to the air after the huge pickup and ended up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your touchdown, Cowboys! A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. You'd have to imagine for a team that's lost three straight games, scoring first in this first quarter has to feel pretty good. It has to feel great for them, and also it's a nice signal to the rest of the team because we talk about complimentary football all the time. So they've now signaled to the defense, now signaled to the kicking game, hey, we're here to play in this one. We're going to do our part. Let's see if you guys will do the exact same, and we can break this losing streak. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. down. He finds his man complete. That's Strickland. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. 
And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. They'll look to throw. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Over the middle complete. It's Strickland. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. The numbers for him from a week ago, seven catches, 61 yards. And he was able to pull that last pass in, but he's gonna face a tall order here because he's going up against the number two unit in the NFL against the pass. Again, he'll drop to throw. Now he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. 23 yards on the tuck and run. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. First down, here's a run with Peterson. Taken down at the 30. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. They went empty set there. No backs in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No him. one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit, but not go down and fumble the ball. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. To throw on second down, Michaels looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hamilton. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. The Cowboys at four and three, a game over 500. Yeah, they've lost three straight here, and it kind of goes without saying, I guess, but they could certainly use a win. Yeah, no doubt about that. There's a difference between a losing stretch and a losing streak, and right now, they're not playing their best football, but if they were to fall here, and now you're looking at going four games without a win, things can start compounding themselves pretty quickly from this point forward. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Six nothing, our score after one. Throwing on first down. Michaels. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will lose yardage here to the 31 yard line. That one unable to develop. Never got going. A loss of a couple. And it's second down. You know, the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first, it's good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you. 
leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on the third and three. And quick throw here, that's complete. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. a loss of one on first down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. They go back to Grant. Seven big yards on the carry there to get it within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. Some good strong running right there, some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. About a half yard from the end zone, third and goal. Looking to throw, Michaels. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who catch the football. Now the try here for the pulling after. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble and bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you can build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset losses, all of those things, and still be in good shape. On second down, Peterson. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Throwing the out route and complete. That's Strickland. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. He notched his 15th touchdown pass of the year on that last drive. And they'll look to keep it going here, first and ten. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. They'll keep it on the ground. Sellers. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all.
contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Or are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary, or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think we will continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. Extra point right down the middle, and that pushes the lead up to an even 20. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Taking it about the one. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's, that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it. I think you just called a desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah, you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. A battle for it and it's intercepted. And they will take over at the 29 yard line. We've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half, and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, they've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. Dallas offense set for this next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First down, Michaels, quick hitter here, it's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw, Michaels. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hamilton. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty flag to the backfield. Now this looks like a roughing call. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Operating from the gun, Michaels. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This is caught. Oh, he's going to be brought down a few yards short of the goal line, and they're going to be unable to stop the clock from here. So close yet so far, and that's going to be how this first half will come to an end. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, 
Time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they were winners as they defeat the visiting New England Patriots. Kenneth Walker, a touchdown run in the victory. Finally, let's get out to Southern Nevada and see what's happening with the Raiders at home in Las Vegas. And they were winners in their ball game as they were able to handle the visiting New York Jets. Josh Jacobs, the game of his life, five touchdown runs. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer? We turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And the Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board, they begin to have hope. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around, they want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. And that'll bring up second down. Another modest gain there on that one. And I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, haven't they, partner? Because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Following the penalty, it's Peterson. And down he goes just beyond the 35. And that pretty move got him some extra space to run. He'll look to throw. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Multiple players getting home for the one-yard sack. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. And the Giants send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. at the seven but bounds into the end zone and that'll be a touchback so here are the cowboys to take over they are trying to snap that three game losing streak on top so far with the football here first and ten throwing to start the drive michaels looking middle and that's complete and he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Michaels 
Oh, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. Binds, and he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Nick Bosa in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. And the Giants will go with six defensive backs here on third. Back to throw. Michaels. And that is incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's not locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set them back for second down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. Tough spot looking at second and 16 here after the big loss. They run again with Peterson. And a nice run to get this up over the 20-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They're going to look to throw. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Depp is still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and that'll be second down. Back to throw. That pass taken in by Burks. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and ten. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. They'll look to throw here on first down. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game.
from the red zone now. They'll look to throw. Oh, he got possession on him, and he pulls it in. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Peterson. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great effort there with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Giants are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Now for the point after. That is good, and that'll make it 20 to 7. So that one a long 11 play drive, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. Kicking team out there for the Giants as they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Now all of a sudden, we've got an interesting game here. You just saw them go down and score a touchdown. And what was a comfortable lead at halftime it's down to a two-score game. And so the obvious thought is they've got to ramp things back up again. Got to get the offense into high gear. But we've seen this before. When you've kind of been in shutdown mode for a while thinking that you're okay, it's hard to mash the gas again and have everything work perfectly. They've got to fast together a good drive right here and now. This defensively they've got to be feeling confident. They haven't allowed a point this half. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. and the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Looking to throw. Michaels. The offense on third down tonight, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and 14. Operating from the gun. Michaels. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continue to do so. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. From the 22, here's second and eight. He'll drop to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up. They've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? to throw now on first down. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. 
Second and five. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Kudos for the defense from me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. I think he was fortunate to get what he did on that run. Out of the gun now on third down. Over the middle complete. It's Peterson. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 37. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Strickler. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Being chased out left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, Okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know, it doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. Point after, right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So with under 30 seconds to play, this is the game right here. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. As the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Now a handoff up the middle. Sellers, and he's going to be stopped at about the 37. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This is Grant. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he's going to get to the 31 and up for the first down. A couple more minutes, and maybe the outcome of this one, Charles, would have been different. But ultimately, time runs out on the comeback, so it falls short. And they hold on to win this by just one possession. Not the fourth quarter they wanted, but they did earn the win, and they'll be happy about that, and they should be. Now they're going to go back to practice, see what they can do to prevent a future lead from slipping away like this one was. So for the Cowboys, the victory means they'll up their mark to 5-3 and three on the year. And they'll have another road day next week with the Los Angeles Rams. Meanwhile, for the Giants... They'll fall to five and three with a loss. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Washington. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.